Using the right background in the render is one of the most important factors in improving the output. In this video, we will teach you how to use ordinary images and HDRI in the Vantage software for the background. We will also teach you the most important points and factors that help us improve the output. Hello, welcome to MIMVIS. First, let's talk about the user interface of this section. In the Vantage software and in the Environment section, at the bottom we see the Background menu. By clicking on it, the related settings will open. In the Mode section, we can specify that the background uses our Environment section, that we used a sky here, or use one color, or use an image. In this video, we want to talk about image. In image, you can define a file for the background. Now this file can be an image in JPEG or PNG format or any other format, or it can be HDRI. Today we will work on both topics. First, we want to talk about JPG images. I choose an image. After selecting the image in the mapping section, we can specify how the selected image will be displayed. Now we are in a spherical state. What does that mean? It means that we have our image as a sphere around us. This mode is not suitable for using this format. In screen mode, our image is always perpendicular to the camera. That is, by changing the angle, the image is still perpendicular to the camera and our viewing angle. So the best mapping mode is screen. By selecting this mode, an option called fit will be created. Let me explain on the background image. As you know, our image has length and width. In the fit section, we can specify whether our image fits our frame from the outside or the inside in Vantage. We can see it by changing the fit mode. In stretch mode, our image may be stretched from one side to fit in the frame. Thus, in this case, the outside mode was more suitable. Even if you change the aspect of the camera, the background will adjust itself to the frame again. We see that in this aspect, we are watching a larger image. From this section, we can also determine the light intensity. We can choose different images and create different outputs for the client. Let's choose another image. But in choosing images for the background, there is one point that we should pay attention to. The selected images must have a horizontal line in the center of the image. That is, if this line is at the top or bottom of the image, we will not have a proper perspective. In the picture, we can see that our horizon line has moved out of the middle and moved to the top of the picture. And if I choose it, we see that the perspective of the image does not match the camera angle. Or, in the next picture, we see that our horizontal line is down. And again, by our choice, we see that we are only watching the sky. So be sure to pay attention to this point. Of course, this technique will work as long as our viewing angle is horizontal. If I go back to the first picture, if our perspective is from top to bottom, we can see that it doesn't work. Using HDRI images solves all these problems. HDRI images or images with high dynamic range are very high quality. 
and they can cover the entire outer space in a spherical shape so that we can have a good view from any angle. I will return to this state and I select an HDRI image. After selecting the image, we set the mapping mode to spherical. You can rotate the image with this option and find the right viewing angle. By changing the angle of the camera, the HDRI also changes, and you can have a good variety in the background. We will test another HDRI. We see that without any problem, with the right perspective, we can see our background. Even at this angle, we can see that the rendering can be captured without any problem. With the help of scene state, you can create different backgrounds with different lights and get different outputs easily and quickly. Thank you for being with us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye until the next tutorial.